Yeah, yo, what's going on guys? So Spartan, your guys have got an awesome, interesting, and important video for you guys to check out today. Today we're going to be talking about natural versus TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. I'm going, be, I'm going to be discussing and sharing with you guys what the difference is in strength, size, and look. Overall, what is the difference, performance, you know, how you look, and your physique in terms of natural, being natural versus TRT. I'm gonna talk about the boost or the gain that I personally got from going from natural to TRT. So guys, check this out, let's get right into this. So, boom, first and foremost, first thing we need to talk about and discuss is where I was at naturally. What was my peak? What was I able to do naturally, okay? So, me naturally at 19, okay? I went, I basically for my, for, so everybody knows, I'll just put this out here. I went not natural at almost 20 years old. Okay. So at, at the end, you know, I was, I was 19 right before I turned 20. I went to not natural, not being natural anymore. Okay. Having said all of that, um, the best I was personally able to do, let's just take, let's just, we're going to go through stats and numbers and then you guys can stack this up and I'm going to tell you then what you can expect for yourself. Okay, so me at 19 years old, my testosterone level was about 900 to 1,000, which is good for a good, you know, good, healthy 19-year-old uh, male. Good genetics, right? So me at 19 years old, obviously my I didn't get my HGH or IGF-1 ever tested, but I guarantee you I was at, I'm sure, at a, at a good level, probably 350 to 400, okay? I, I'm sure that was, I was peaked out there, okay? Having said that, so... My total testosterone level at about at 19 years old, at natural before I went before I went not natural, was about 900 to 1,000 nanograms per deciliter total testosterone level. Okay, my HGH I'm sure it was at the top of the range. I never got that tested, so I can't tell you guys 100% definitively. But I can bet. I don't want to bet my life on it, but I can I can bet you guys that was the case. I was up there uh, at the peak in terms of HGH. Okay, so that so at 19, that's where I was at. My best bench press, the best and strongest I was able to bench press, uh, being natural, was 315 for nine reps. Okay, 315 for nine reps. That was my peak naturally at 19. I couldn't. I I was unable to get any stronger than that. Compare that to what? TRT, high dose testosterone replacement and high dose HGH replacement. Now, one thing I want to say is, is that the high dose HGH replacement hasn't changed my HGH level from where I was when I was 19. I'm just restoring that back to the peak where I was when I was 18, 19. So it's as if uh, you know, there was no change on that regard. Now, if somebody is, you know, in their late 20s or 30s or just has a bad HGH level, I'm sure they would get more boost than this. So having said that, okay, so best bench press being 19 years old, 315 for nine reps on TRT, high dose TRT, 1,400, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500. That's about where I'm at, you know, 250 uh, milligrams of testosterone sipionate per week. My bench press uh, my best 315 it was 315 for 15 reps, okay? So natural, best I could do was 315 for nine. On TRT, the best I was able to do was what? 315 for nine reps, okay? We're looking at about about a 15%, yeah, about 15, about 15% 15 boost in strength, okay? If you were to use about a rep calculator, okay? And that's, so that's the gain. I got, okay? And my testosterone level, again, from natural 900 to 1,000 uh, to um, on high dose TRT replacement, uh, usually I'm between uh, 1,300 and 1,500, okay? So that's that's uh, that's the difference, okay? So that's, 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 that's where I was at bench press. Let's talk about squat, the differences in squat, okay? And I'm, I'm just giving you guys everything you need to know. I'm giving you guys the truth, and you guys can see, you know, the gain I was able to and the difference I was able to natural versus TRT, okay? Um, squat, the best I was able to squat natural, uh, you know, 19 uh, was 405 for 12 reps. That was the best I could do. 405 for 12 reps, 19 years old natural. Compared to TRT, high dose TRT, uh, I was able to do, I'm able to do, uh, what was it? The best I was able to do was 400 
455 pounds for 12 reps. So what do we see there? We see there a 50 pound difference. Natural 405, 405 for 12, TRT 455 for 12. So about a 50 uh, percent um, uh, or 50 percent, 50 pound jump in the squat, which is hey, that's great, that's significant. So you know between the bench press, between the bench press and the squat, you know we're taking upper body, lower body. You know the difference for me between and this is this is the summary guys boom the difference for me personally seth spartan between being natural and high dose or high replacement trt testosterone replacement therapy was about um 10 to 15 percent increase i'll just say i'll round up i'll just say 15 percent gain in strength and performance on trt now you know, and again, the test, the testosterone level, natural. We'll just we'll just round up. We'll say about a thousand natural to me going one thousand about one thousand four hundred. I guess that's typically you know uh, where I was at uh, during those uh, those best uh, record attempts. You know, on two fifty milligrams at about two hundred forty pounds. So that's about you know the difference in about four hundred to five hundred difference in total testosterone. That's and again, HGH levels the same because I'm replacing, I'm doing high dose HGH replacement to where I was when I was 18 or 19. So that doesn't really change much. Um, but that's the difference, guys. For me personally, Seth Spartan, the difference in strength and performance is about 10 to 15%. If you want to call it 15%, great. Uh, now, let's say I was in my late 20s, you know, I'm sure I would have got, or if you guys are watching this video, maybe you're 30, 40, you know. Uh, you're going to get a lot more gain, a lot more benefit than 15%. Why? Because I guarantee you, your HGH levels uh, were nowhere near as high as you know mine were when I was 18 or 19. Your HGH levels are lower, so you're getting not just the boost of the testosterone, but you're getting the boost of your HGH levels being restored to peak 18, 19 year old uh, levels. So you're going to get even more boost. So maybe I'd say you know uh, for you guys, if you got if you've got um, uh, and also if your testosterone was lower than mine was. Um, so the thing is, and granted guys, you know, I did a lot of things to, did a lot of things to destroy my natural testosterone production. We won't get into all of that. And you know what, that's another reason things guys stay away from SARMs unless you want to be on TRT the rest of your life. Okay. I'm going to put that out there because they absolutely suppress testosterone production, same as anabolic steroids or testosterone. All right. I'll talk about that in another video. So, you know, from, so put it this way, guys, the difference, just the difference for me going from about 900 to, uh, you know, 1,400, huge change, huge difference in terms of performance and strength. If you had a lower testosterone than me starting, let's say you were at, you know, let's say you're at half that, maybe you're at 450 and you go to 1,400 high dose testosterone replacement. Guess what? you're probably gonna get about 25% jump, you know, and then also factoring what your HGH levels were. So me personally, guys, this is it. I'm gonna wrap the video up with this. And it's cool, I can talk about this from my personal experience. So me, Seth Spartan, you know, I got about a 15% increase in strength, size, performance from going natural to a high dose TRT, okay? And again, if I would have had lower testosterone, oh, lower testosterone or lower HGH levels to start, I'm sure that jump would have been even more. You know, when you guys, depending on where your HGH and testosterone levels are at, I can see you guys getting, you know, 20, maybe even up to 30% increase, okay? But it's really where you're starting. Because if somebody's starting with low, really low testosterone, let's say you're at 400 testosterone, okay? And maybe you're really low for uh, HGH, maybe your IGF-1, is uh because that's the best way to measure hgh let's say your igf1 is at i don't know 200 150 and then you go high dose testosterone high dose hgh replacement guess what you might see up you might see up to 30 percent increase okay so that that's huge in terms of numbers and one last thing i'll say is, is that i feel the biggest change in my physique is that um i'm able to uh i'm able to stay leaner Okay, because the thing is, is that with, with in, in a normal male, right? In a normal male, um, you know, your testosterone goes up, peaks in the morning, about 9, 10, depends when you wake up, but it peaks in the morning and it goes down. So testosterone is kind of like a, a little trough. When you're on testosterone replacement, you can be at the peak all the time, 24-7. So you're like, you're like just 
boom, you're, 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 uh, you're at your best all the time. And, um, the thing is, is that this definitely shows up in terms of physique. Last important thing I want to say, and then we're out of here, guys. Pay attention to this huge point. A huge, huge, I cannot stress how big this is. The biggest difference I remember training from TRT to natural, natural to TRT, is that naturally when I would train, some days I'd get into the gym and I would, I would have terrible workouts and be weak. And sometimes I would have great workouts and be strong. Why? Because your natural testosterone level, if you don't sleep enough, it goes to garbage. If you eat too much sugar or carbs the day before, it goes down. So sleep, stress, um, sugar intake, carb intake, uh, how much healthy fats, your testosterone, you know, is, is, is so dependent on these things. And, you know, I'd, naturally I'd go to the gym at 19. Sometimes I'd have crazy great workouts and, you know, just have great just amazing train, amazing trains in general, squat, bench, deadlift, whatever I was doing that day. And then other times that naturally I go to the gym and I would have terrible workouts. Now when I go to the gym on TRT, I pretty, I always have a good workout. Why? Because even if I don't sleep as good, even if I, let's say I binge out, which I'm trying not to do, you know, my testosterone level is always at the peak. It's rock solid no matter what I do. That's not an excuse to do those things, but I can tell you guys that Okay, maybe I'll go to the gym and I'll still be tired or, you know, not feel as good. But if I go to the gym and I train as hard as I can, I'm always going to have a good workout versus naturally, if you go to the gym, you haven't slept enough or you go to the gym and, you know, you ate really bad the day before, you're going to be way weaker naturally. That's one big difference, TRT versus natural. Guys, stay safe, stay healthy. Seth Spartan, keeping everything real with you guys, straight and to the point. And guys, take care of yourselves. You get one body, make the best decisions, get your hormones tested. And sign up at Prometheus if you want the best uh, high-dose testosterone and HGH replacement to the top of the range as long as you're healthy. We're out of here. Boom.